Hello, I'm Pastor Tim Otto from Mount Olive Lutheran Church, I'm pastor here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Welcome to our midweek devotion based on God's Word. I want you to imagine for a few moments some newlyweds. Okay? After about a month, the wife thinks she has the greatest husband in the world because there was a fire at their house about three weeks after they got married. The blaze was getting worse and worse and the wife got trapped in a second floor bedroom. The smoke inhalation suff uh, suffocated her and she passed out. Now the husband was on the first floor watching some television and he managed to get out safe and sound. As he was in the front yard panicking, thinking, where is my wife, where is my wife? He started to scream, yell her name. Now the neighbors got there and, and told him, you can't go back in there, it's too dangerous for you, it's too risky. But he went back in, went to the second floor, found his wife passed out, carried her out and saved her life. After about a half hour, she came to and she was fine. He saved her life in that amazing act of bravery and love. <laughs> she thought, I got the best husband in the world. He even saved my life. But then as time passed, the wife began to notice um, some things. Uh, she noticed that he was not a very good listener, um, never had time to communicate with her, uh, would rarely talk to her, was always into his work and into his going out with the buddies. With time, she noticed he was rather rude to her, um, impatient, um, often unkind words. Uh, when she had a hard day, uh, he would rarely help her with the chores around the house. If she committed a mistake or, or, or did something wrong in the, in the relationship and would then ask for forgiveness, he rarely forgave her, uh, rather acting up in anger. And then the drinking started. And uh, there, it came to the point where he would not even often provide for the family and they couldn't even pay the bills because he would spend it on, on the drinking and the going out with the buddies and things got worse and he eventually cheated on her and was unfaithful to her and they ended up getting a divorce. Now, when she would look back on that relationship and how the marriage went, it didn't even last uh, two years, she said, well, when he did that amazing act of bravery and love and saved my life. I figured that he would do all the other little things as well. It just wasn't the case. Now, the Bible uses the comparison of a bride and a groom with our relationship with Jesus. We're the bride, the church, and Jesus is our groom. Jesus is our spiritual husband and he's not anything like the husband I mentioned in my story. And now, in one thing, uh, Jesus was similar to that first husband, that husband who risked his life in that wonderful act of bravery and love to save his wife who was in the burning building on the second floor. Uh, Jesus um, did something that really can't compare to anything like that. He saved us from the very worst fire of all. You see, because of our sins, we deserve to die and then we deserve eternal condemnation, which is to spend any, in eternity in the fires of hell itself. That's what we deserve. We could never save ourselves. Just like that lady who had passed out, we could never save ourselves from it. Not all the good works in the world could ever save ourselves from our sins, death, and an eternal damnation in the fires of hell. But then Jesus, our spiritual husband, loved us more than anyone else could love us. And he died on a cross, and when he did that, he entered into those very flames. And he punished, he suffered the very punishment that you and I deserve. He took away all of our sins. Then, through the power of the gospel, uh, he worked in our hearts. He worked saving faith in our hearts. And saved us, rescued us from that Satan's kingdom of darkness and brought us into his kingdom into his church, into his family, washed us of all of our sins, forgave us completely, and one day 
he will take us to his heavenly home. And that's a guarantee. Now, let's go back to my little story. You remember that marriage that didn't even last two years. Um, he had that husband and he did this awesome act of bravery and love and goes into the burning building and saves his wife. But then he didn't do the little things. Uh, didn't have time to listen to her, no communication, would never talk to her, he didn't help her, didn't serve her, he was mean, not patient, not compassionate, and eventually uh, flat out unfaithful. Cheated on her and a divorce. Well, that's not how Jesus is. Jesus did that amazing act of love, uh, an act of love that humanity has never seen before when he saved us from the fires of hell and from our sins and from death, when he died on that cross and rose again on that third day. But here it is. Jesus does the little things as well. I want you to listen to this Bible verse from Romans chapter 8. I'm reading Romans 8, verse 32. It says, He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also along with him graciously give us all things? So did you hear what it says? It, he gave up his son to save us from sin, death, Satan, and hell. He said, if he did all that, well, he certainly will graciously give us all things. Oh, and that is exactly what Jesus does, our spiritual husband. He certainly is the perfect companion for us. He always has time to listen to us. Yes, he invites us to pray to him, and he always hears our prayers, and he always answers them according to his good and gracious will in the very best way. Oh, and the communication, well, he always has time to talk to us. Sometimes it's us who don't have the time for him, but every time we listen to his holy word, the Bible, our spiritual husband talks to us and gives us his counsel, guides us, strengthens us, comforts us, and keeps us close to him. Yes, keeps us in the faith. And, uh, well, Jesus, our spiritual husband, has never, ever once been rude to us. He always treats us with, with perfect patience, with perfect compassion, with perfect gentleness. And when we have had a bad day, he always is there to help us in our need, always provides for us, always gives us everything we need. Our very lives depend on him, are from him. Every new day is a gift from him. Our, the Bible says that in him we move and breathe and have our being. Everything is from Jesus. And Jesus is always faithful always keeping his word, always loving us perfectly, always keeping all of his promises. The Lord would never, ever divorce us. He is always at our side, as he has promised before he went to heaven. Lo, I am with you always, even to the very end of the age. You know, it's something that that wife, that woman looking back, uh, later, she, she would reflect and say, you know, towards the end, when it got really bad, I, I would wake up every morning a little nervous. What kind of husband am I going to get today? What is he going to do to me today? Is he going to have one of those good days, or is it going to be one of the bad days? Of course, that's not the way it is with us. We can wake up to each and every day with confidence, knowing that Jesus is at our side and Jesus, well, who is he? He is our God. He is our Lord. He is our King. He is our Savior. He is our brother. And he is our perfect spiritual husband who has never let us down and never, ever will let us down. Let me read that Bible verse one more time. He who did not spare his own son but gave him up for us all. How will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? God bless you all, my friends.